Welcome back to our series on the budget template makeover. My name is John and in this series we're taking a look at how to transform a basic budget template to improve the look and feel and usability to make it easier for our users to use. In this video we're going to take a look at the freeze panes feature to make it easier to scroll reports horizontally and vertically and keep the headers in view. All right, so we're back in our budget template file. And as always, I'll make this file available for free download and put a link to that in the description below. So in the last video, we looked at how to create drop down lists to categorize items in our transactions list. In this video, we're going to switch gears a bit and look at how to use the freeze panes feature of Excel to make our reports easier to navigate. So on this sheet here, uh, we have some hidden columns. And before we get to that, I'm just going to delete this chart right here. I'm going to select the chart and delete it. We don't need the chart for now. We're going to create a better one later. So we'll, we'll just delete it for now. But between uh, columns F and J and BJ, we have some hidden columns. So I'm just going to select both those columns. I'm going to right click, unhide. And that's going to now make all of these columns visible, which are the columns for the rest of the year. Now one issue when you have reports that are really wide like this is when we start scrolling over to the right here, we lose the visibility on our header row. We can no longer see the categories over here on the left side. So I don't really know what these numbers represent, which categories these represent. So there's a nice feature in Excel called freeze panes that will help us with this. And what we're going to do is uh, go up to the view tab on the ribbon and then go to the freeze panes drop down. And there's three options here. We can freeze panes to keep rows and columns visible. We can just freeze the top row or we can just freeze the first column. And this is what we need for now. So we're just going to click freeze first column. And that'll apply the freeze panes here. You might be able to see that there's a bit of a dark gray line here between column A and column B, which represents our freeze panes. And now when we scroll to the right, you can see that column A remains frozen. So we can scroll over to the right. We can look at numbers here in June. And even though typically this column A would not be visible, it's now still visible so we can see what these numbers represent without having to do a lot of horizontal scrolling back and forth. So that's freeze panes for columns. Now, like I said, we can also do this for rows. So first of all, if we go back up to the view tab and click freeze panes, you'll notice that the top button turns into unfreeze panes. So this is a toggle. And before we freeze the uh, rows and columns, we need to unfreeze the panes. So I'll just click that there. That'll turn my freeze panes off. Now, if I just wanted to freeze rows at the top, I can do that as well. Now, if we were to just freeze the top row and use that feature in the drop down here, that's not really going to work in this case because we really want to freeze all the way down to row five. So in order to do that, we need to select the row below the, the row we want to freeze. That's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, so we want to freeze row five. So we're going to select row six and then we'll go to freeze panes and just choose the freeze panes button. And that again is going to apply that you can see that dark gray line there. And when we scroll down, I'll just scroll down with my mouse wheel. You can see everything above row five is now frozen and it does not move as we scroll down. So this is really nice, especially as your list gets longer and you have more categories and it goes off the page. Uh, you can keep those header rows visible. Now, again, you can also apply this to both rows and columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is unfreeze the pane. So again, freeze panes unfreeze panes and then we want to uh, freeze both rows and columns in order to do that we're going to select the cell in the bottom right of the column and row that we want to freeze so if we want to freeze uh, below row five and to and to the right of uh, column a we'll select cell b6 here so just that single cell will then again go freeze panes freeze panes and that's going to freeze both rows and columns so now we can scroll to the right and we can scroll down and both our header row and column will be visible and this will make our report much easier to read and navigate. And one final quick tip there is the keyboard shortcut to freeze panes on Windows is Alt WFF. So Alt WFF, that combination will get you to uh, this button here. It's one I use all the time. It's not an easiest one to remember or type in, but that will get you here for freezing and unfreezing panes. And again, you just make those selections and then Alt W F F on the keyboard will make the, the freeze panes applied. All right, so that's a look at how to use the freeze panes feature to make reports easier to read and navigate. If you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave a comment below. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to write the sum ifs formula 
to create the summary reports of sum by category and time period. So be on the lookout for that one. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.